Hello, and welcome back to another VX tutorial. Uh, today we're going to do another type of cutscene from the one we have with uh, Amber here. And I'm going to show how to make a intro with a uh, blank screen anyone is wondering. As you can see, I redid my map a little here to add in this area. Got a object here, which I'll be using uh, shortly. And i just like to point out a common mistake people might make for maps. That is, that as you can see here, this is coming straight off this top one. It has two blocks high here, only one here, and this is, should be on the ground. So, oops. People should just be careful when doing stuff like that. Another way you can fix it is to do something like that, make it appear to be like a ledge. And that's all I gotta say on mapping errors. So on to uh, this type of cutscene. Which will actually require both party members. So we'll just delete that scene and add <clears throat> Amber into the group. Because I'm going to make a uh, Cutscene, kind of like what you'd see in Golden Sun, where the uh, characters will walk out from where the player is standing. And to start off with that, you need to make a new event page, which is uh, all blank for the first tab here, this be the default, and set it through because I wanted to be able to go through the player, and I'm going to name this as Amber so I don't forget, and I don't actually need that one, so just a blank event set to through and that is all you need for setting that up. Now to actually make the real cutscene. Uh, this is uh, Luna which is another character. want to set to that one. Thank you. And as you can see I made more system switches. And when I come to the map this should be blank. When the uh, cutscene starts uh, she will have this sprite. Just that way I don't have to uh, Edit it in later. And this is going to be what controls the cutscene itself. So let's start by having Luna talk. Just have her shout at us. 
and next I want to turn the switch on which will give her the sprite she needs For this next part I have to count the spaces because this is actually this should be off screen when I step on this which is what I want so I'm going to make uh, the player step down and turn this way and then also have Amber step on as well so one two three four eight spaces so first we'll have the player move which is this one set on player and have them turn down uh, one step forward and turn left so that uh, you'll be facing uh, Luna when she bogs up and then do you have Amber show up I'm going to set another move route for Amber and there should be a I'm not seeing it. I guess I can make a jump, then I need the uh, coordinates to do that. So let me uh, get those. I want her to jump when it's right here, which is 13 by 14. Oh, I forgot to keep the uh, player one in there. So we're we do that one real quick and add in another one for Amber to jump at. I think it was fourteen thirteen. If not, I'll change it later uh, going to change the graphic to Amber's graphic <coughs> which when it starts she should be facing down so I'll just have her take one step forward and turn left and that should make her appear now one last mo move route to have Luna uh, walk toward us. I believe it was eight spaces, so just one step forward eight times. And as far as the animations go, that should be it. Then have her. Just say something so it's not completely useless. I'm joining the party. Stupid buttons. Buttons. Okay, there we go. Join the party. Add her in. Again, initialize because this is the first time she's being added. <clears throat> now I'm going to just set. Uh, 
move routes for uh, Luna to walk into the player. I said into the player, and then change the graphic to none. And we'll just have uh, Amber say something. And uh, set her move route to uh, put it back. And then put the flag, or the uh, system switch, to Luna joined. Let's make a new one, saying that when Luna joins, nothing will happen. And that should just about cover this uh, type of cutscene. As long as everything wor works. And as soon as the game will load, we will test that out. So let's just come up here. Set onto the bridge, teleport. As you can see, there's nothing here when I get here. I can even walk right through it. And then I step here, she says something. Oh, apparently I did something wrong. So let's check this out. Uh, player wait. Okay, it froze on the amber move route. So, ah, uh, that should be. 13, 14. I think. I could have sworn there's a way to just move straight here. Let's see if there's another command I can use. Uh, transfer player, but that's not going to help. Uh, nope. Doesn't seem like there's another way except for using something within move route. I don't see anything that says jump to player. So let's make sure I have this all set up right. Uh, that should be through so she can walk into you. And this is all set. Let's uh, try it again. <clears throat> and stupid. McAfee security stuff. Okay. Again, it freezes like right there. Remind me later. What is wrong with this? I know there's a way it works. I just can't remember how I made it work. Okay, 
I figured out what it is. Uh, if you use the jump command, it will move uh, these coordinates from where the event was. And since I had Ember's event over in this corner, it's actually going off the map, and then deleting, and it couldn't actually finish since Amber's event wasn't there. So now that I figured that much out, let's see what it actually looks like. So let's just run over there. And she shouts at us. Amber steps out. Luna walks over. And that's it. And this does not activate anymore. Can't even leave the map. Come back. Oh, that's a bug I need to fix. But this does not activate anymore. To fix this, I uh, just make a new one. Yeah, whatever. Make a new one that says uh, Luna joins, which, and you have this. The reason why it's going to this one is because I never turned that switch off. Now that this is uh, first. Or before that one, you'll see that this switch is on and stay blank. So now that that cutscene is over and done with, let's make a uh, blank map. And if you want a blank intro, just leave it completely blank. We're going to. Uh, so our starting point of the player here, but if you uh, were to test this, you'd see that this is still uh, not completely blank because your character would be here. So to fix that, you go into database and just make this a blank graphic to start off with. Then you'd need a event that's going to control all of your uh, stuff in here. So let's just uh, make a quick little intro. There we go. That's my quick intro. And there are, is something you can do after I find it. I know there was a thing for changing just the uh, player. Ah, there it is. And just change his graphic. And if you were to. Oh, I need to also teleport. To the actual game then if you were to test this <clears throat> again once it loads oops important thing you need to do auto run that way it will run as soon as the uh, map loads. Uh, 
this is the intro. And as you can see, uh, the graphic showed up, and then it teleported, which looked rather odd. There are two ways that you can do this, or to cover it up, uh, my way I normally do it is to pick a animation or make an animation, whichever you rather do, that covers the entire uh, Entire sprite, and then when the animation is playing, the sprite will change and it will transfer before the person ever sees the graphic. So that's one way to cover it up. Another way to do it is to uh, fade out screen, which actually show the animation one first so you will know what that looks like and you can make your decision which I'm just using their uh, default uh, there's a split second where you can see the sprite but for the most part it was covered up and another way to do this is to fade out screen and then uh, once you teleport in you have to fade in the screen which you can do this by doing uh, I don't know you can't do a play of touch do it uh make it up parallel, that way it won't uh, freeze the game so we don't have to do sw self switches and all that. So this is the fade out, you see nothing, it fades in as soon as you get here. Now let's make sure that my decision to do a parallel, nope, it otherwise does not affect your So that is basically all the uh, different cutscenes you can do. I showed the very basic one uh, before in my mapping tutorial. Uh, this one had uh, movements and the black intro screen. So that does it for this video. And I'll see you all next time.